Thank you, Jesse. Oh, I'm tangled. Okay. Well, when I um, when I first got myself tangled, when I first joined Walt Allen and got the title of user experience specialist, um, I'm sure a lot of people here had the same kind of reaction that I get when I introduce myself, and that is, what is user experience? So first, I tried to describe it by uh, basically saying, okay, well, most of you have a cell phone, right? Well, you know a cell phone has screens, right? And they have buttons and controls and so on. Well, somebody went to a lot of trouble to make that easy for you to use, okay? Well, that's what I do, but I do it for medical devices. So I look at what our users are interested in, what their workload is, how they can best use these devices uh, in their in their day-to-day -day living. So basically, user experience is the sum of all aspects of a person's interaction with a product or system. Now, it doesn't just simply apply to phones, medical devices, and so on. It can apply to anything, um, as we'll certainly see. So why is it important? Well, basically, it's the speed of competition that has changed. You used to be able to create something, a widget or a service, and you could sell it. It didn't matter how easy it was to use because you were the only game in town. Yeah, you remember that? Right. If you wanted to, to create documents, presentations, and all that, first you had to fight this to get to what you wanted to do. You could get it done, but it was kind of a pain. So it took several years before finally that experience improved because competition was lagging behind, right? That was way back then. Times have changed a little bit now. So what you have here, let's go back to more of a, a modern concept like the smartphone. Basically, when the, uh, the iPhone first came out, it was new. It changed the way people did business. It changed the way people communicated. It was quite a milestone. And they were the only game in town for a very short time. It, this time, it only took a number of months before competitors were out there with just about everything you can think of, all kinds of flavors of hardware, right on their heels. So how do now do you differentiate between yourself and your competition without that gap in there? You do that with user experience. Get the better user experience, the more likely it is people are going to want to do business with you. And that can apply at any level. That can apply at a product level. That can apply all the way up to a town level, as we'll see. With the products, you basically want to make sure that the products are simple to use. That's the very first step. Now, this is an oven. When I first saw this, I thought, I can land a space shuttle with this thing. It has got 10,000 controls, and I just wanted to turn the oven on to hot. It's like, this is a little bit of overkill. So a, good, a better experience is to take all your technology, keep, the, keep it behind the scenes, keep the oven technology there, create a simple control for it, hot or not. And it doesn't always have to be high tech. You can still use some old fashioned knob works here. Still works. Expand that out now to storefronts. When you have a lot of complicated uh, signs, colors, it gets so busy, people aren't going to have a good experience. They're going to not understand what's going on. A good storefront is like a present waiting to be opened. It's clean, easy to, to understand, the signage, the lighting is good. This one even has an awning to protect you as you're approaching and looking in through the window. This one has separate entrances and exits. That creates a great flow of people through the store so they can get to what they're looking for much more easily. Expand it further into entire towns. All stores get together to come up with a uniform uh, celebration here, this time the holiday season. Lights are up, decorations are up. This is a joy to drive through. It makes you want to come back. And don't forget the details, right? In historical towns, road signs, banners, they not only inform, but they're nostalgic. They bring you back in time. They bring you back to a more comfortable uh, memory for you that you want to come back and visit. So how can you apply user experience principles in your own world, to your own service, your own product? Get to know your user. What is it that they really like? Focus on that. How is it they'd like to be treated? All right? Not curt, not short. They want to be treated like your friends. Design them an experience. Come up with a theme, much like the railroad theme for St. Thomas. Use that wherever you can in your product or your service. Be consistent and pay attention to those small details. A lot of times those small details give the, your customers that little wow factor that they like. And finally, remove obstacles. Keeping floors clean, windows clean, allowing people to see where they're going uh, helps them and making sure that they can make their purchase without any, anything getting in the way is important. Because the better your user experience, the more likely it is people want to do business with you. It's all about the customer, so treat them well.
Okay. I'm pretty excited. I think it's another great presentation. And you guys are getting great, like four minutes, 55 seconds. That's awesome. Right? Great. Hey? Okay. Follow the time frame. A so, couple questions. Do we have a couple questions? Yes, sir. You should go to the supermarkets, Josh. <laughs> it applies there, too. They need you. Yeah. <laughs> so the supermarkets need you. That's supermarkets. I can answer that one, too. Yeah. Oh, please do. Yeah. Other questions? No? Yep. Oh. What are the corporations or offices that you approach to what? get that concept to? Okay, so what are the corporations and offices offices do you approach to use your idea to? Are you referring to are you referring to downtowns and how to uh, centralize them as far as the common theme is concerned, or all, all of them, like from your personal perspective? Mm -hmm. Who do you preach your concept to the most? <laughs> if you want to talk about me personally, yes. I work with the marketing department. They understand the markets. They understand where products are going to go, right? I make sure that the products do not just what the markets need, but what the customer needs. Oftentimes, markets are driven by feature sets, by price points, and so on. That's all great, but we do have competition where I work as well. And if we don't provide a better experience than the other products, then you know, we lose. We want to make sure that our customers are happy in what they do, they get their work done faster, better, and more accurate. So there's always somebody in charge of that product. In the city's case, you want to go to, you know, town hall, uh, stores, store manager, store owner, there's always somebody who can make that happen for you. Thank you. Thank you.